Hello and welcome back. My name is D-Double, but you could just call me Dell. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a look at the brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC Teal Mask, specifically a complete guide to Ogre Pond. Now, before we get the video started, if you guys can, please show some love in likes, comments, bell notifications down below. Hell, even click subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and with the DLC, this opens up a big opportunity for me to kind of, sh you know, dive a little deeper into some Pokemon, maybe spread a little bit of my competitive knowledge, and, uh, you know, introduce some people into some easy ways to start using uh, brand new Pokemon in a very competitive manner. Um, for me personally, Ogre Pond is the Pokemon that stole my heart in the DLC. If you haven't done the playthrough yet, I really suggest you do. Ogre Pond is extremely well designed. The story around it is wonderful. And I honestly think it is the coolest Terra Pokemon uh, that you could play with right now, even though you can only Terra into one of four types. So uh, Ogre Pond becoming the first Pokemon to have a limited Terra pool, which I think is really cool. And we're going to get a little bit more into that uh, right here. So Ogre Pond, as you can see, has four different abilities depending on the type of mask that it is holding. If it is the Grass Mask, i.e. the Teal Mask, uh, you will gain the ability Defiant, giving you plus two attack. If you ever have a stat reduction, um, Water being Water Absorb, so you will become a Water Grass type uh, with the ability to be immune to Water type moves, which I think is really cool, uh, especially in VGC right now with how popular Urshifu is. Um, you know, we got to show some love to our VGC brothers out there. I do play a lot of singles and draft, but I do love me some VGC. Uh, it had my heart first. So we'll get a little bit deeper into that with one of our last sets in the video here. So stick around. Um, we also have the fire typing mold breaker. So you get a fire grass type similar to skull villain. However, much more physically based, um, as we'll see with its stat breakdown and mold breaker finally on a Pokemon besides Excadrill that I think will be really useful in the game. Um, no disrespect to Haxorus, but I honestly think that, you know, Ogre Pond might just have its number. And then rounding it out, we have Rock, uh, making it Rock Grass, giving it Sturdy, which I think could be really cool for like different lead options, things like that. Um, as you can see on the right though, we do have Terra abilities. When this thing Terras, it gains its ability to give a plus one boost depending on the type that uh, of mask that it's holding. So grass being speed, water being speed F, fire for attack and rock for defense. This leads us into its base stat totals. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think that Ogre Pond is one of the most perfectly developed stat lines possible um, to have a offensive pivot, a slightly defensive lead, a good support Pokemon, all mixed into one lovely ogre-sized package. Uh, 80 HP, 120 attack, 84 defense, 60 special attack, 96 speed, not 69, I almost said the funny number, and 110 speed, making this Pokemon uh, outspeed a vast majority of the metagame right now, especially if it was to hold that Teal Mask, getting a plus one speed boost, an attack stat that is more than developed, uh, especially considering this thing also gets Swords Dance, uh, which can make Hearth Flame Mask, aka the Fire Mask, extremely useful, uh, going plus three when it tears into a Fire type. If you use Swords Dance, can really run away with games, in my opinion. I think it'll lead to some really cool stuff, and we'll dive into that a little bit deeper with one of the Fire sets that we have. The Wellspring Mask offering for some Spadet reinforcement basically giving it an assault vest without having to hold one which is super nice especially considering how like things like Chiyu running around if you were to tear into a water type get that spadef boost makes it a little bit easier to deal with whether it be in singles or in vgc um and then rounding it out of course the cornerstone mask giving it obviously a solo rock typing and i do think that there is a niche location for this whether it be a lead option with the sturdy like i said and then gaining a defense boost uh, as you terra on maybe like your second turn after you've lived your first hit or in vgc if you go pure rock type and you have some sand support around you i think it could be really nice to once again bolster your defensive stat 
and your specialty defensive stat at the exact same time. So a lot of stuff that you can do with Ogre Pawn in terms of its base stats and the held items available. Starting off though, we're gonna go into kind of what I would like to call a fast support slash lead set. Now, uh, obviously we do have an additional four EVs that are not included here. You can put those into whichever stat you'd like. Uh, myself personally, I would lean probably to attack in this instance. As we are 252 HP, 252 speed, I'd throw four into attack. A jolly nature holding leftovers. We are Terra Grass as when you aren't holding a mask, it is the default for you. And I don't know if it forces us into it. I haven't done any testing on that yet. If you do know, leave me in the comments down below. Um, and I can always look into it a little bit more. Maybe we'll do a battle on the channel with it. Uh, Leech Seed Spikes allowing for some great lead pivots. Spiky Shield, of course, if you want to stall out your opponent because you are very fast at 110 speed. Knock Off to remove items. And then Encore U-Turn to kind of either pivot out against something setting up or Encore it into that setup move, forcing it to have to stay in. And you can always get out on the next turn with a switch. Next up, we're looking at another single set. This is Swords Dance Speed Boost. Now, if we are tearing um, 252 attack, 252 speed. Like I said, this thing could absolutely blow back a team um, with Swords Dance. Between Power Whip, Super Power, Knock Off, Play Rough, you get a lot of the coverage that you need to break through a lot of notable threats. Super Power especially offering you something to hit those Steel types that'll probably want to come in and try to wall you out. Play Rough for those Dragon types that you will struggle with from time to time. Knock Off's just great coverage. And then, of course, you can choose whether you want the Stronger Power Whip or the Signature Move of Ogre Pawn in Ivy Cud Gel. Now, if you know how to pronounce this, good for you. I'm going to call it Cud Gel for now. I think it's Kujil. I might be just extremely uneducated on how to pronounce it, but that's what we're going with. Uh, I think this set could be phenomenal in OU especially. Now, another singles option that we have is a Mold Breaker High for Offense set, 252 Attack, 252 Speed again. Jolly or Adamant, doesn't really matter. Uh, but this time we're with the Hearth Flame Mask. Now, between Power Whip, Ivy Cut Gel, and Play Rough, you hit everything. There is no Pokemon, at least based on my testing, and you could prove me wrong. Somebody probably will in the comments down below. But there's no Pokemon that could safely switch into all three of those moves. And if one can... That's the beauty of U-Turn, ladies and gentlemen. When you get this thing an attack boost, with already having 110 speed, not a lot of stuff is realistically going to outspeed it in the meta. And if you want to just have a choice banded Pokemon that's not locked into a move, that is mono fire type when you tear it, this is the thing to go with. All three moves being able to hit extremely hard, nothing walls you out. And like I said, if it does, U-Turn, hop up out of there, and slide into the next Mon. Speaking of the next Mon, we now move on to the Cornerstone Mask, this one being Terra Rock. Now, I think a sturdy Hazards lead could really benefit something like a Grass Rock Ogre Pawn, especially considering the fact that when you are leading, you want to get your spikes up. Uh, spikes, knock off, U-turn, allowing this thing to basically be a perfect turn one Pokemon. If the Mon across from you, being something like a ground type, is available, you can smack it up uh, with a knockoff and hop on out. It probably won't want to stay in, but say it's something like a fighting type and it's caught you off guard on your lead. Well, if you are out there, you can take one hit, at least get your spikes off, and then you can always switch out later. Alternatively, you could just tear right in front of it, take your defense boost, and try to 1v1 it. Things like um, Corviknight, you hit neutrally with IV Cud Gel, Knock Off also being available, and U Turn if something scares you out. I honestly think this could be a wonderful lead option. Not my favorite choice, but definitely an option out there if you want to try to. And now this brings us to our final entry in this ultimate Ogre Pond guide. Uh, we have our VGC Ogre Pond. Now, this is Follow Me. VGC Ogre Pond. Between Jolly or Timid, you have the choice between Horn Leech and Leaf Storm. As you see at the bottom of your screen is a calc that shows Okoing a Urshifu with Leaf Storm. Encore Helping Hand, allowing for you to support your teammates. Spiky Shield Charm, depending on if you want to be defensive or, you know, pressure your opponent's Pokemon into reducing their attack. And then Follow Me, of course, to redirect those Surging Strikes. This guy outspeeds Urshifu, takes hits, tanks, is a wonderful Pokemon. And I honestly think if you tear it into the Water-type, 
you're eating up a couple of those special hits from things like Chiyu too. That is gonna be it from me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. If you have any suggestions on maybe an Ogre Pond set that I missed, comment section down below. Love to hear from you. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe. We're gonna have a bunch of these coming out and I also do Wi-Fi battles every single week and draft league content. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.